So you look inside here, this is the artichoke plant. You can see, we've got our first artichoke starting. It's pretty neat. Okay, so we've been uh, having an interesting week over here. Uh, we've had some problems with our fish and a uh, problem with uh, bugs. And uh, it's just been pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do a, um, a, a kind of an overview of all the systems and just kind of a, a general update, so. Okay, so these are the uh, Tumbling Tom dwarf tomato plants that we're, we're gonna be putting in the uh, strawberry towers. And there's one more back there. And uh, aside from that, everything else is doing, I mean, everything else is kind of growing. We had to take a bunch of things out because of uh, root problems, but uh, we took care of that. Uh, these tomatoes aren't producing anything right now, and uh, I'm not totally sure why, but I I'm just gonna let them sit and see what happens. So our problem, um, our, our problem with these external bell siphons began when we only put one drain in the center of the system, which, uh, which is all right now that we have this union in. So basically, w when we get root growth coming down into our drains and into our pipes, uh, we can go ahead and separate these these two now uh, through this union, uh, remove this pipe, and cle clear out the root growth. Um, so this system does require some maintenance, and uh, that's okay. Okay, so as you can see here, we, we got a, a little tub of uh, 25 uh, red worms. So we got one tub for each bed. So we got four four tubs in all. But I'm gonna go ahead and add these guys uh, to this bed to, just to help clean up all the uh, the roots that have you know died or you know j just all the things that the that, that the uh, worms can eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Okay, so we did a little maintenance on the indoor system. As you can see, I've taken a lot of plants out, out of the system. Uh, these tomato plants, um, these were the ones I didn't get out uh, because I wanted to see if I could get them to grow, but they're growing too tall. And what I think I'm gonna do is just cannibalize them and make a bunch of clones out of these tomatoes and then get them in the outdoor system uh, when I can. So, um, but I wanted to show you guys, uh, the tank is all put back together. Uh, you can see the water is a lot clearer now. And I went ahead and ran a water test and you can see that this is our first reading of nitrates in any of the systems and it looks about looks about nitrates uh, five parts per million so yeah five parts per million and uh, that's pretty exciting because I haven't seen any nitrates in any of my systems yet but there we go okay so this is the greenhouse cycling and running we have the uh, tumbling tom tomatoes for that back wall uh, starting indoors I'll show you guys that in a little bit but as you can see, uh, we got some bell pepper, we got some habaneros, some tomato, some green bean, uh, cucumbers, or zucchini, both probably. And uh, yeah, so that, that's what we have going in the greenhouse. I still haven't uh, got the floating bed running yet. Uh, just that's just due to my lack of my own laziness, and I need to I need to get on it and get and, and get busy. But uh, just wanted to give you guys uh, sh show you guys this um, this to didn't didn't bend correctly so i have some pieces to uh fix that bell siphon but other than that it, i mean it's it still works but you know i'm just kind of nitpicky about it so but uh yeah it's working and uh just kind of uh watching it grow yeah so you can see the water level is kind of low now uh what i did to this system uh, i haven't added any fish to it yet uh, what i actually did was just uh, pour 550 milliliters of seaweed extract into the system and it's turned the water brown and hopefully put some of these uh, um, minerals and stuff in the system and uh, to help grow the, uh, the, ni the nitrates. Okay, so we added uh, one more uh, goldfish to the fish tank. Um, he uh, was just coming from uh, the inside system and we wanted to put him back out here. And uh, they're, they're doing all right. And uh, everything here is growing. Uh, the broccoli... It's kind of it's it's coming up too fast, and I think it's just too too warm, too sunny uh, for the broccoli. So um, I'm just basically using the plants to eat up some of the some of the uh, or, you know to help help clean the water for the fish. But uh, I planted a new tomato there, and you can see the tomatoes haven't grown too much, but they're still there. And then we got a, a couple of other ones starting on this one, and the pea plant. It's just huge and just has a ton of peas all over it. There's a new one right there. And, 
Yeah. We 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 eat a couple of a couple of these a day, and yeah, they're they're pretty good. Yeah, so this is my tomato bed, and you can see there's a tomato on this one. There's a bunch of them on the, on this one down there, and uh, we got some new growth coming up. So on all of these, so they these are all doing pretty good. They're coming back from the root shock, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully, we can get some some pretty good tomatoes off of these. And over here, I'm just letting this this uh, cabbage go to seed. And uh, they're, I've, I've never done this before, so I was kind of, I was kind of curious. Uh, here we got a few things coming up. That's the garlic. Um, these are those bell pepper. They're not they're not doing too hot. I don't know if anything's coming up over here. I don't I don't know what. I can't tell the difference between the weeds and the actual plants yet. But uh, over here we got a mess of weeds. You see uh, throughout the carrots. The carrots are coming up pretty good. Uh, we only got two two piece, two stalks of corn uh, that came up. That's okay. And then uh, the squash looks like. Uh, four five six six of the eight came up so yeah, as you can see this corn here isn't doing as well in the aquaponics system and i think that's kind of expected but uh they're, they're still alive and you know i'll, I'll let them grow um, until they die okay so i just wanted to give you guys a brief uh overview of uh, what's been going on around here um i'll be updating you guys uh, more more often on the uh, greenhouse because I think that I think the growth is going to be exciting to watch. But uh, thanks for uh, watching. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and head on over to our Facebook fan page at HD Aquaponics, and uh, the website is going to be it is it is is online, but it, it the page is actually down. Um, I'm not going to put it up until I get just a little bit more content. So because it's just a little bit empty right now, but as, as soon as I get just a little more content, uh, we'll go ahead and go from there. And uh, anyway, um, I'll be talking more about content on the Facebook fan page. So. Anyway, thanks for watching.